Mind the gap or you'll fall into the pit of struggle. I'm Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven. Don't make the big mistake that trips up even the best consultants and advisors by focusing on leveling up your skills and capabilities to better serve clients. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't important or something that you shouldn't do, but this isn't the gap that matters and it isn't the gap that you should focus on. The gap that matters most is the difference between how your target market perceives you compared to the real impact you know you can make if given the chance. Job one is getting clients. Everything else is irrelevant if you don't have clients providing revenue that gives you a viable and prosperous business. The reality is perception rules. You must focus on closing the gap between how your prospects perceive you and what you believe you're truly capable of delivering. There is no point in getting better at what you do if the market doesn't even recognize how good you are today. Understanding how your target market perceives you is a high degree of difficulty task. You see the world through your eyes, but your eyes won't tell you much that's useful about how your prospects see you through their eyes. You can ask them, but that rarely works. Nobody likes confrontation, and most of the time they'll tell you what they think you want to hear because there is no win for them to tell you otherwise. Here's how you can figure it out. Pay attention to what your prospects focus on when you're having a sales conversation. If your prospect focuses on your price, then they see you as an extra pair of hands. It's simple staff augmentation. They don't need your knowledge or expertise. They know how to do what they need, but they just don't have enough people in-house to do it. They are telling you they see you as a commodity where price dominates value in terms of the decision to work with you. It's tough to have a viable business if this is how you're perceived. When your prospect zeroes in on the ROI of working with you, then they see you as a problem solver. The good news is that they are relating the value of your work to the price that they'd have to pay. But the bad news is that the value is not going to be very high. 80% of the difficulty in business is figuring out the right problems to solve. Only 20% is solving them. Your prospect has done the hard work of defining and prioritizing the problem. They now need you to bring your knowledge of how to solve the problem to get the outcome they want. Now this is table stakes for most consultants. Your target market sees you as being in a category of hundreds if not thousands. They're telling you that you have failed to differentiate yourself. Your business is living in struggle city. Life is much better when your prospect concentrates on the impact you can make on their business. They see you as a consultant thought leader who can help them diagnose the symptoms that are causing their pain, assess the importance and urgency of getting rid of the pain, and then, if it makes sense, to solve their problem. If you've done the right job of marketing yourself, they will see you in a category of one, think your fees are cheap at 10 times the cost, and often seek you out so you aren't always having to chase clients. You'll have a very good business do well financially, and be respected by your target market. But an elite few are at the pinnacle of perceived value to clients. They have deep insights on how a senior executive can transform their business. You are no longer viewed as a consultant, but as an advisor or CXO whisperer who can enable their client to become a game changer. You'll have a long line of CXOs who are eager for your counsel and your price is almost irrelevant to their desire to work with you. You'll have income predictability, be recognized by your target market for the transformation you enable, and make every minute you spend on your business count because clients chase you, not the other way around. If you want to become elite in terms of the impact you have on your clients, focus on building the market recognition for your ability to be a game changer for the lucky few executives that you will work with at any point in time. Only when you're able to align how your target market perceives you with the impact you are capable of making 
should you focus on leveling up your skills and capabilities. Otherwise, you will have a business that is in the woulda, coulda, shoulda category. You will have failed to reach your potential, not because you weren't able to deliver, but because your target market didn't believe you could. Message me to arrange a conversation about how you can level up how your target market sees you so you can help them become a game changer while you get paid full value for the impact you can make.